these words that I'm going to tell you are nowhere to be seen. Welcome to class. I've been in France for one and a half years now and I feel like I've picked up the words that everybody uses that the textbooks do not tell you. To spare you some of the pain that I've been through, I thought I would share my wisdom with you. I split this video into one, verlan, two, phrases and expressions commonly used, three, complaining, which is extremely important. <laughs> it's a mixture of French slang and just common words that people sort of throw into conversation really casually. And then I might do another video on flirting, dating, text talk, etc. if you ever want to get yourself a French honey. Okay, first, verlan. Verlan is French slang where you inverse the syllable of words. For example, verlan inverse is l'envers. Is it starting to make sense? <laughs> Hi. Okay. I was actually unaware of this language before coming here since my mum never taught me that long. So thanks mum. So one of the most common ones is oof. Oof is fou backwards and it means crazy. That's mad. That's crazy. Whoa. Whoa. Interchange it for whoa. I don't hear people say fou anymore. People just say ah oh, c'est oof. C'est oof ça. C'est oof. Oh mais c'est un oof if you're describing someone. He's crazy. A synonym for fool, which could be used in a more soutenu context, like a more serious context, would be maybe dang. Ah, c'est dang. Meuf. Meuf is femme backwards, so it basically does just mean girl. Like, ah, t'as vu la meuf là-bas? J'aime bien ses chaussures. You can use it to address friends. It's kind of like a female version of bro. Meuf. T'as vu ça? And it can also be used to mean like girlfriends. So if you've got a girlfriend, you'd be like, ah, c'est ma meuf. The male equivalent of meuf is mec. So if I had a boyfriend, for example, I'd be like, c'est mon mec vénère, which is verlan for énervé. Énervé is the verb to annoy. So vénère basically means annoyed or pissed off. If you miss your train, you'd be like, oh, je suis trop vénère là. Roulou means lourd. Lourd literally means heavy. So when something's relou, it normally means like annoying or like tiring or like, oh, like, oh, c'est relou quoi. This is also heavily used when, no pun intended, a guy comes on to you too intensely. Oh, he's like too much, you know, like he's being a bit of a bag. You could be like, mais il est relou, il est lourd. If that makes sense, that's another way it's used. Next is def. Def is verlan for fête, une fête, which is a party. So if you want to be like, are you going out tonight? Are you partying tonight? You'd be like, tu fais la def ce soir? Pécho. Pécho is verlan for choper, which basically means to get with someone, to make out with someone. If you want to be like, oh, did you get with him yesterday evening? You'd be like, tu l'as pécho hier soir? Finally, the last verlan word I'm going to give you is chelou which is verlan felouche, which means weird, shady. Like when something's like a bit off, you'd be like, mm, c'est chelou, c'est chelou ça. Or if someone's a bit weird, a bit shady, you'd be like, je le vois jamais lui, il est chelou. Phrases and expressions which are commonly used. If you ever go to a club in France, there's 11 out of 10 chance you've heard this song. C'est la kiffance. La kiffance means le bonheur, or like happiness, joy. And kiffe means aimer, to like. To love. If you like something, you be like, ah, oh, je kiffe ça, je kiffe cette chanson. Tu le kiffes? If you like someone, je le kiffe. Nickel, nickel, literally just means like great, perfect. On se voit demain. Nickel. Crave. Crave means seriously. Like crave lit is like an actual word and it means serious. So ce n'est pas crave, for example, means it doesn't matter. Ah, c'est crave bien. C'était grave cool, really good, it was so cool, seriously cool. It can also kind of be used as like an agreement. So if you be like, oh, je déteste la prof, and someone goes grave, it's like agreement, it's like seriously. Grave, I use quite a lot. So it wasn't, c'était vraiment bien, you'd say c'était grave bien. Trop stylé means so cool. You could also say cool, as say the French people. Figure out, which means watch out, be careful. So, tu vas dehors, fais gaffe. Tu te promènes le soir, fais gaffe. Un pote, une pote, un pote means a friend, a mate. If you've got a friend, you'd be like, c'est mon pote. You can also use c'est mon ami, mais but pote is normally like a bit more casual, like mate, it's my mate. You can use it. Ami is more strong, it's more a 
close friends and I mean less than me you just leave it like just just leave it just drop it je croyais qu'on allait se voir demain non laisse tomber non laisse tomber another tip is instead of saying beaucoup you can say pas mal de so for example j'ai beaucoup de chaussures you could say j'ai pas mal de chaussures I mean you can say beaucoup too but pas mal is like an extra little colloquial spice like vocab you can just switch it up instead of using beaucoup all the time um Ah, for pot as well, poto can mean bro, frérot can also mean bro, frère also means bro. I don't use poto, frérot, frère, but they're there if you want to use them. I don't. Finally, we're on to complaining. Now, complaining is extremely important, uh, hence why it deserves a whole section to itself. Um, <laughs> Avoir la flemme. Avoir la flemme means I can't be asked, I can't be bothered. Fun fact, I lived nine months in France when I was 13 and I went to a French school and every day this girl would come in and she would say, Ah, oh, j'ai la flemme. And she would say this every single morning. And I didn't know what she was saying. But to me, flemme sounded like phlegm. And so I thought that it meant a cold. Like, I've got a cold, I've got a sore throat. So after about like three months of this girl coming in every single day saying she had phlegm, I literally said to her, Maybe you should go to the doctor. Like, maybe you should get that checked out. Um, that doesn't sound normal. <laughs> and she looked at me and she was like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, like, what? And that was when I realised phlegm. Avoir la phlegme means can't be asked and not I had a cold. But hopefully that will help you remember it. So yeah, when you can't be asked, when you can't be bothered, just be like, oh, j'ai la phlegme. J'ai la phlegme d'aller en cours. Chiant ou chiante? Chiant or chiant means someone who's really bloody annoying. Say this to someone who's actually like chiant. This is quite a hard one. If you've got a brother or a sibling or something and they're really annoying you, be like, Mais donne moi c'est chiant, t'es chiant quoi. Next is fait chier. This is on the same level as chiant. Faire chier literally means it makes me want to like take a dump. Ah, j'ai manqué mon train, ça fait chier quoi. Je vais être en retard. Ça me saoule. Soule means to be drunk, so when something to soul, it really pisses you off as well. These are all very harsh words, but um, used very commonly. So, once again, oh, ça me soul. Tu me soul. J'ai le seum is when you're really disappointed. Oh, j'ai pas pu le voir avant qu'il parte. J'ai le seum, j'ai trop le seum. Cramé means when you're burnt out or tired, like really exhausted, like shattered. Oh, je suis cramée. Um, and then obviously you've got the classic sounds like oh la la, oh la, okay, okay. Just add attitude to anything and you'll be absolutely fine. But I hope those are helpful. I'll see you very soon. Bisous.